With their eight arms, three hearts, and unparalleled problem-solving skills, octopuses are a wonder of marine life. Today, we'll unravel the mysteries of these fascinating creatures and explore their world beneath the waves. To many, octopuses are creatures hidden in the shadows that no one ever sees. But in reality, their habitats are incredibly versatile and can be found in many places. This is because they have the remarkable ability to adapt to a wide range of marine environments, from the shallow coastal waters of the Mediterranean Sea to the deep, dark depths of the Pacific Ocean. Octopuses have made nearly every corner of the world's oceans their home. In shallow waters, octopuses are often found in rocky crevices, coral reefs, and even in seagrass meadows. These environments offer plenty of hiding spots and an abundance of food sources, including crabs, small fish, and other crustaceans, which we will learn more about in a moment. The common octopus, for instance, is a frequent resident of the Mediterranean and Atlantic coasts, where it thrives in rocky substrates and underwater caves. For those who venture deeper, the environment changes dramatically. The deep sea octopuses, like the Dumbo octopus, inhabit the abyssal plains and continental slopes, often at depths exceeding 13,000 feet, which is nearly 4,000 meters. Here, the absence of sunlight creates a world of eternal darkness, where bioluminescent creatures light up the surroundings like stars in the night sky. These octopuses have adapted to extreme pressure, low temperatures, and limited food availability, showcasing their incredible resilience and adaptability. Then there's the giant Pacific octopus, the largest known octopus species which prefers the colder waters of the North Pacific. They are often found in underwater caves and rocky outcrops, where they can easily camouflage and ambush their prey. With an arm span that can exceed 30 feet or 9 meters and a weight of up to 600 pounds or 272 kilograms, they are the undisputed giants of the octopus world. Whether it's the coral reefs of the Great Barrier, the Mediterranean's rocky coasts, or the Mariana Trench's abyssal depths, octopuses have adapted to thrive. Each environment, present with its challenges and opportunities, has shaped the octopus's behavior physiology, and even their size. When it comes to eating, octopuses are both opportunistic and strategic, displaying a range of hunting techniques that are nothing short of ingenious. Their primary diet consists of crustaceans, mollusks, and small fish. But the way they go about catching their prey is where the real fascination lies. In shallow waters, where the common octopus reigns, they often employ a method known as poke and probe. Using their highly sensitive arms, they explore cracks and crevices in rocks and coral reefs, searching for hidden prey. Once they locate a potential meal, they use their beak, a hard chitinous structure located at the center of their arms, to break open shells and consume the soft insides. The giant Pacific octopus employs a mix of strategies. They are known to use their powerful arms to pry open the shells of clams and crabs. Some have even been observed using tools, like rocks, to block the entrance of their prey's lair, effectively trapping them inside. This level of problem-solving ability is rarely seen in the animal kingdom. Whether opening a screw-top jar to get to the food inside, or escaping from enclosures, their intelligence is evident in their hunting tactics and behaviors. But what sets octopuses apart from other marine animals is their use of camouflage. Their ability to change color and texture instantly allows them to blend into their surroundings, making them nearly invisible to both prey and predators. This mastery of disguise is made possible by specialized cells in their skin called chromatophores, which can expand or contract to produce a wide array of colors and patterns. Now, when it comes to the life cycle of an octopus, it is just as fascinating as its intelligence and adaptability. When it comes to mating, octopuses employ specialized arms known as hectocotyle in males, 
one of the arms is modified to transfer a packet of sperm, called a spermatophore, to the female. This arm is often inserted into the female's mantle cavity, where fertilization takes place. The role of the female octopus in reproduction is both inspiring and tragic. After fertilization, the female lays thousands of eggs, which she attaches to a hard surface in a secluded area, often inside a den. What follows is a display of maternal care. The female guards her eggs diligently, aerating them with her arms and keeping predators at bay. During this period, which can last from a few weeks to several months depending on the species, the female abstains from eating and dedicates her life to the care of her offspring. This maternal investment comes at a great cost. Once the eggs hatch, the female's life cycle comes to an end. She dies shortly after, having exhausted her energy reserves in the service of the next generation. This similparous or one-time reproductive strategy is sad but effective, ensuring that the many young octopuses have a chance of survival in their early vulnerable stages. But the challenges for the young octopuses are far from over. After hatching, many species go through a planktonic stage, floating freely in the ocean currents. This stage exposes them to a host of predators, from fish to other cephalopods. Those who survive eventually settle on the ocean floor, where they begin their bottom-dwelling existence. Here, they grow rapidly, learning to hunt, camouflage, and navigate their complex environments, preparing for the day when they will continue the cycle of life and reproduction. From the specialized mating arms of the males to the sacrificial dedication of the females, each aspect of their reproductive cycle is finely tuned to the challenges and opportunities of their marine world. Yet even with their incredible ability to disguise themselves, they have not been able to avoid human contact. From ancient maritime legends to modern scientific research, our fascination with these eight-armed wonders has only grown over time. So, what happens when humans and octopuses cross paths? In recreational diving spots around the world, such as in the waters off of Australia and the Mediterranean, encounters with octopuses are not uncommon. These interactions often reveal the octopus's curious and sometimes playful nature. Some divers have reported octopuses reaching out to touch them, inspect their equipment, or even play with objects left on the ocean floor. This level of curiosity suggests a degree of intelligence that researchers are still working to fully understand. However, it's not all fun and games. In commercial fishing, octopuses are often caught as bycatch or even targeted for their meat, which is considered a delicacy in many cultures. This has led to concerns about overfishing and the sustainability of octopus populations, especially for species that are already vulnerable due to habitat loss. In the realm of science, octopuses have become a subject of intense study, particularly in the fields of neurobiology and psychology. Their complex nervous system, which allows for advanced problem solving and learning, has made them a model organism for understanding intelligence and cognition. Experiments have shown that octopuses can navigate mazes, solve puzzles, and even escape from enclosures, further fueling our fascination and respect for these incredible creatures. Yet, despite their adaptability and intelligence, octopuses are not immune to the challenges posed by human activities and environmental changes. Overfishing is a significant concern, especially for species that are targeted for culinary purposes. In some regions, Octopuses are caught in large numbers, either intentionally or as bycatch, leading to population declines and disruptions in local ecosystems. Habitat destruction is another pressing issue. Coral reefs, rocky coasts, and other habitats that octopuses call home are increasingly threatened by pollution, climate change, and other anthropogenic factors. The loss of these habitats affects octopuses and the myriad other species that share their environment. However, due to their wide distribution and diverse habitats, some species are less vulnerable than others. Yet, the lack of comprehensive data on population sizes and trends makes it challenging to assess the true extent of the threats they face. 
Conservation efforts are underway to better understand and protect these remarkable creatures. Marine protected areas are being established to safeguard critical habitats, and sustainable fishing practices are being promoted to minimize overfishing. If you're captivated by the incredible world of octopuses and want to contribute to their protection, now is the time to act. Support conservation efforts, adopt sustainable seafood choices, and educate others about these amazing marine animals.